Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I hope y'all are doing amazing. All right, we are going to get a look at your week ahead, even though we are technically, what, two days into the week already? I don't know if y'all saw this or not, but I uploaded a video for y'all <laughs> Sunday. And I don't know how, but some kind of way when I was editing that video, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to hit. So I sounded like Minnie Mouse on crack. <laughs> so it was sped up. The voice was changed. I don't know what the heck I did on that reading, but I tried to recover it. I was able to download it from YouTube, but when I tried to edit it and take that sound off, it just sounded so I was able to make my voice sound like my voice. But it just sounded really muffled. So until I can find a way to um, clean that up, I'm going to just give you all a new reading. Because Oh, wait a minute. Let me move this camera. Hold on. Oh, baby, it was shaking. It was shaking. So I'm awful. Yeah, but I'm going to see if I can try to find a way to fix that. I downloaded all kind of apps and stuff to try to fix the audio. And it just didn't work. So I guess what that means is Spirit is saying, no, I want you to give Libra a different message. So take what resonates. Even though, even though it was a good reading. Take what resonates. It was one, uh, 111 just when I looked up, um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to, could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you, I am picking up on, use your own discernment, general message for the week, the emperor, okay, okay, it says logic and organization will increase your success, take charge of the situation, accept the leadership role, structure and discipline, this is a good indication of a promotion for some of you, Especially if you work in like a male dominated industry or you could just have a job that's mostly dominated by men if you're a woman and you might be showing them who's the boss, okay? This emperor has a sword in his hand. I think he usually does, but his sword is up. So some of you, there could be a decision being made, something about you getting a promotion at work. It could involve an Aries. You could have Aries placements. This could also be your divine masculine stepping up. What's going on in love? Let's see if we get anything more about this emperor energy. That could also be a boss or paternal figure. We'll have to see what clarifies that. What's going on in love for the Libra Collective Spirit? Oh, wow. The Six of Cups. You could be coming back into union with your Divine Masculine. This card can be about reconciliation. It's also about nostalgia. It's like feeling like, you know, a youthful kind of energy. Okay, let's read it. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child or the return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. There could be a divine masculine, um, a Scorpio or an um, Aries for some of you. April the 6th or June 4th could be significant. Somebody could be 46 years old, 64, or born in the year 1964 or 46, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the, the people that watch my channel range in age, so I do not discriminate, okay? If you are alive and breathing, you are welcome here. All right, but anyway, yeah, there's somebody reminiscing over you. This could be the return. Y'all know what's so crazy. I just came from the um, grocery store, and on my way back, I kept hearing return of the X, and then that turned into return of the Mac, right? Now, interestingly enough, you know, return of the Mac, you think of the Mac, you think of a player, right? You think of somebody in player energy. Although the emperor is very serious, very committed, very um, disciplined and focused on his family. Maybe this is somebody who was a player in the past because I'm like, why is, this, why is that saying playing over and over in my head? Return of the X, return of the X. And I was actually looking at another um, reading, not from my channel, but someone else's that I've never watched before. <laughs> Completely different um niche again that's usually the only type of readers i will watch is people who don't do the same kind of readings as me because i don't want to be contaminated with other people's energy not in a negative way that's no slight to anybody but just i want to keep my ideas my ideas so i look at other people who do different niches when it comes to tarot but the woman actually said return of the ex and i had to like look at my phone in the car i'm like what is this return of the ex? So some of you, there could be an ex coming back. Maybe this is why, maybe your ex like, nah, change that message from the, the last one that the sound was messed up. They like, nah, April 22nd could be significant. 422, 44, any of these things can mean something. And the numbers four, four are all about structure, foundations, laying roots. So this is somebody who's serious. Okay, wow, we got another four, the four of pentacles. Capricorn energy. This is your finances. <clears throat> Okay, managing your resources wisely, in extremes in how you give or receive money, time or emotions, smart business decisions, and seeing things as black or white, also being charitable. This could be you, I don't know, you could be saving money right now, 
Um, some of you have big hearts you may want to give to people, but right now may not be the time for you to do that. Also be leery. There could be a father figure or a baby daddy or somebody that might be asking you for some money. I don't know. Somebody around you might be in need, but only give what you can afford to give. Okay. The four of pentacles is a need to reassess how you are interacting with money. Okay. Really be real with yourself. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Wow, we got the two of pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of financial juggling going on here. Capricorn energy again. Working too hard on multiple jobs. The need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities and balancing the budget. Some of you I just heard could be taking care of a paternal figure, a father, a grandfather, even an older brother, an uncle, even a uh, stepfather or a father-in-law. Even this could be a husband. Somebody around you might be in need right now. And you could be like, I don't know, you could be really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say spent, but I, I don't want to use that word. There's another word I was looking for, and I don't know why I can't. I can't think of what it is. But just kind of like stretched to your limit a little bit right now, financially, and maybe even emotionally or otherwise, because I am seeing here a need for you to balance. This card is all about finding balance. Some of you do a really, really good job of juggling things, but some of you need to slow it down just a little bit. And there could be somebody coming in here from your past that might bring some joy to you this week. Let's take a look. And let's see what's happening here. Show me the emperor. And this is just general. So this could literally be anything. Who's this emperor? Why is he here? That could be you. Like I said. Dream come true. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. See, this is a card of success though. Completing a cycle. And um, getting closure to a situation. So it could be so many different things going on here. This could be a promotion. A dream come true. This could be a boss. You know, that wants to help you to level up here. This could also be a love situation. Y'all really going to have to take it how it comes. But let's just claim all of it. Let's claim uh, a raise, a promotion, possibly even a whole new job. Let's claim the masculine steps up to the plate, coming with some, some really, really good energy. But yeah, this is like, you know... Feeling like you have like the total package. So if it's a person coming into your life, this person is going to be a dream come true. It could be a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. <laughs> Others of you, it could be an Aries. If you feel like you have a twin flame, this could be a twin flame. If it's not a twin flame, it could be someone in a position to help you to level up. Or this is actually the energy you're embodying this week, okay? So look for some kind of good news to come in in love, career, some kind of way. Also practice a lot of gratitude this week. The world is about gratitude. Show me six of cups when it comes to your love. Like, who is this? We have detrimental. Hmm. Harmful, disturbing, adverse, destructive, dangerous, injurious, and bad. Okay. So this is someone. I want to pull another one. This is someone who in the past may have been this way. Because this is a reconciliation. Or some of you could just be thinking about a relationship that's been really stressful. That could be what's on your mind this week. Let's get one more. We have offline. Social media detox. Unplugged. Off the radar. Off the grid. Somebody could be missing your presence. Somebody's definitely missing you right now. You could also be missing them. Somebody could have twins here. You could have twins with this person. I need another one because I'm not exactly sure what this is trying to say. I don't want to read this as a negative because I don't feel this negative. Prosecution. Good Lord. Indictment, summons, sue, litigation, and facing charges. This could be a child support issue that you have with somebody. Some of y'all might be in court. The emperor could represent authority figures. Some of you are getting some kind of money here. Maybe that's even why money has been tight. Somebody may not have been carrying their weight for some of you, but I just, I hate that it's coming out like this. I'm going to get some tarot though. So we'll see. For some of you, this is somebody coming back to right their wrong. Show me the four of pentacles when it comes to your money. What's going on? We have humble yourself. Hmm. This is Leo energy. It may be time to face a hard truth your ego doesn't want to accept. Some of you um, have Leo placements, so maybe this involves a Leo. Talks about excess pride. A fall from grace, being humble, not getting attention with the four of pentacles. Um, huh. So, so for some of you, I don't know if you're having financial issues. Because you're trying to do too much. Like you're trying to keep too many things afloat here. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is profit and loss. You know, money coming in, money going out. And just really like 
maybe even try to look like you have it together when you really don't. Because I really feel like with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles coming out, some of y'all are extremely, yeah, and the Emperor. Some of y'all might be like the go-to person in your family or your friend circle. You always loan people money. You always bail people out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you're going to be humbling somebody this week or this is Spirit's message to you to watch your pride. Pride meaning don't be too proud to tell people I don't have it or just that I don't want to give it to you. We have a complicated relationship or situation. Some of you, there could be a cancer or Pisces coming back into your energy. Something that was complicated before. I really feel like they want to fix it, though. Show me this emperor with dream come true. What is this? Okay, this one to come and this. Five of swords with the seven of wands in reverse. Hmm. Somebody could be 57, born in the year 1975. In the year 1957. Um, what else? I'm seeing Leo. I'm seeing Aquarius. Somebody could be 75 or 57, like I said. So it's like, I feel like what's happening here is somebody is being humbled. With the five of swords being here, this is somebody that wants to talk to you, but they could be giving you the silent treatment. Some of you maybe haven't talked to this person in seven days or five weeks. For others of you, this person could feel like they made a big mistake by letting you get away here. Okay, but these cards are both about surrendering. And so the fact that we have, like I said, I feel like somebody's ego has been deflated here. Some of you, this is somebody that you pulled your energy back from that's recognizing your absence is making their heart grow fonder. They're recognizing you as a dream come true. So they may want to step up to the plate this week. But this is somebody definitely folding on like a very stubborn energy. It's like, you know, you're doing too much. They're very argumentative. You could have a lot of clashes with this person, a lot of conflicts with this person. And it's quite possible that you, again, are not speaking to them. They could be giving you the silent treatment or vice versa. Well, whomever this person is, I'm seeing a change of heart here. Show me show me six of cups with detrimental offline and person. I mean, uh, prosecution. Others of you, like I said, there is some kind of court situation going on here. It looks like you could come out victorious. It may be that money is tight right now with the four of pentacles being here. That talks about penny pinching. That talks about, uh, and then you have the two of pentacles, which talks about robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to, um, why can't I think of words? Why? <laughs> What do I say about the two of pentacles? Because I have a phrase that I think of when I when I uh, pull the two of pentacles and I don't know why I can't think of it. Um, oh, God. I don't know, y'all. I can't think of it right now. I, I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Probably because I went to sleep like 8.30 last night. Didn't eat any dinner. I just went to the market. Spent $500 at the supermarket. Jesus Christ. So the kids are in there putting the food away and... Um, yeah, I'm ready to eat as soon as I finish your reading. So maybe my brain needs some some nutrients, okay? But the two, what if I say about the two of pentacles? I really need to know, y'all. I don't know. I'm going to just let it go. What's the six of cups? The emperor again with the seven of cups. Oh, <laughs> the death card. See, somebody's changing here. There's an ego death going on. Like I said, somebody's been humbled. It could be a Scorpio. Some of you could be on the leave of Scorpio cusp. Maybe that's you. We got Scorpio. We got Aries here. So again, this is your divine masculine here. I feel like you're this person's dream girl or dream guy. I feel like this person could have kept their options open in the past with detrimental, you know what I'm saying, with offline prosecution being here. Some of you, you could have judged this, um, made a judgment, a judgment call when it comes to them. This may not necessarily be a court situation. If it is a court situation, I definitely feel like you will come out victorious if you're in court for any reason. But if it's definitely regarding child support, Somebody could be a deadbeat dad. I don't know. Um, there could also be some confusion about like paternity in a certain situation here. I don't know, y'all. I mean, you could be the masculine. Maybe some of you, there's like a, a court case right now. Maybe paternity, child support or something that's in limbo right now. Or maybe that's something that will come to light this week. But I do see that um, somebody is dreaming about you with the six of cups being here with the seven of cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody's dreaming about you. I feel like... um. They're trying to make some kind of decision here, but that talks about clouded judgment. It also talks about a lot of tempting offers, okay? So this could be somebody you notice that he has his back turned. The emperor has his back turned to the temptation. So I feel like this is somebody I just heard coming home to you. Show me the four of um, pentacles when it comes to this humble yourself. <clears throat> the star, okay. That's a fire's energy. 
And the Hierophant. Wow, Major Arcana here. How many? You got three Major Arcana, four including the Emperor twice. Wow, and the High Priest is at the bottom of the deck here. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. I feel like some of y'all need to... Then you got the Four of Pentacles again. There's something here about you overgiving. And I feel like you know intuitively that you need to stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody also could be... I just heard going broke trying to get a lot of tarot readings or something to find out what's going on with you. Things they don't know about you. It's like they're trying to figure it out. This could be somebody interested in you. Or some of y'all could be old in on tarot right now. I don't know. But let's look at this. So we have... um. The four pentacles with humble yourself for your finances. Some of you work at some kind of institution. It could be a religious institution. You could be spiritual leaders. You could make your money in a spiritual way. We do have the most powerful, in my opinion, um, pairing in the tarot deck. Divine counterparts here. But um, some of you could work with your person in some capacity. But the star with the hierophant here, I feel like there is some kind of reward Um, coming to you if you keep the faith. There's something about you maybe being in the spotlight here. Some of y'all could be like, world over now, I'm hearing. I don't know why I heard that. World over now, or really, really good at um, divination or some kind of spiritual practice, whatever it might be. Okay. This also talks about being very wise. It also talks about advice. Maybe somebody here, some of you could be getting some, some kind of financial advice this week. This could be somebody coming in to advise you. That might be a good idea. If you have the resources, the means to do it, look into getting some kind of financial advisor or working on a financial plan for yourself this week, because I feel like you're going to have to have a lot of faith this week. You do have your spirit guides here with the star card, but both of these cards represent spirituality and faith and beliefs and things like that. So some of you are going to have to lean on that right now because you may find yourself in a position that could feel like it's humbling you. You know, it said there's a hard truth that you need to face that you don't want to. Could be something that you've been extremely hopeful about that it may be time to face that it's not a part of your spiritual path i don't know you have to figure out what that is but let's get some advice to close this out three pieces of advice for uh libra collective spirit yeah we got the star card and then we got healing and we have keep going it may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long and you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dream i told you, you have faith in your dream you may have to really lean on your faith this week. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. Beautiful. And then we have healing. Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transitions at once. And you're going to be, I'm sorry, you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Okay, now the four pentacles can talk about a blocked heart chakra. You know, being kind of selfish, greedy, whatever. So watch how you are interacting with money as well as the people around you. I just heard a helping hand. There could be somebody coming in to assist you this week, especially when it comes to your finances. Let's get one more piece of advice for Libra. I wasn't supposed to choose two, but two came out. Yeah, we have breath of peace. I breathe in peace. I exhale stress. I breathe in energy. I exhale weariness weariness my body i'm sorry my body my burdens float away like clouds i am at peace so this week is about you finding your peace and with that breathe and breathe out i'm thinking meditation i'm thinking yoga i'm thinking pilates i'm thinking anything that has to do with mindfulness this week is good for you it looks like this woman has surrendered it looks like she's no longer fighting she's not resisting um she just seems like she's going with the flow and she's almost just like floating through the air. My burdens float away like clouds. I am at peace. So this week you may find, find a lot of peace. Some of you may have a peace that surpasses your understanding this week with um, the Hierophant and the Star being here. You may feel very optimistic this week, even though things don't look the way you want them to look. I do see something challenging you this week in your career or your money or your um, job or your business. But I feel like you will push through it because you have very strong faith here to pull the Star and the... Um, the Hierophant, some of you are also like role models. People look up to you. I really feel like you're the rock of your family is what I just heard. So take some time to treat yourself, though, to peace and quiet this week. Rest and rejuvenation this week. Really try to get in some meditation, some yoga, some kind of practice that entails you doing breath work is important for you this week, Libra. And we're going to leave it there. Um, I did want to look at this complicated relationship at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be weighing your options. You may be stuck with only two people. There could be somebody coming back into your energy that you had a complicated relationship with that you two, you two could be reconciling. Okay. We got the nine of pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all are extremely successful, independent, self-sufficient, single. 
Virgo energy. Something about nine years could be significant in this connection with this person. This could be any relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's just as complicated relationship situation. Okay. This could also be you. This is another like role model, influencer, content creator, you know, kind of card here. This is somebody like coming up like overnight. So I do feel like something's going to turn around for you. Like some of y'all this week might be tough, but then like next week you might have like really, really good news. That happened to me. Like yesterday I had a day from hell. It's like a thing. I, I hit somebody's car, <laughs> a park car, y'all. I back into a park car. Um, you know, my, my daughter is, who is a Libra, is um, recovering from a little mishap with her back. And she, you know, it's just been a lot. It was a lot going on yesterday. It was like, oh, my God. And I was so tired. I went to sleep at 830 because the day, the day wore me out so bad. But uh, <clears throat> I got some really, really, really good news this morning. So that's how it goes. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is somebody here that um, I just heard I'm better off without you. You realize you were better off without. Could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini. That's a lot of Mercury energy. This person could be a smooth talker. I'm just picking up an intellectual person, a slow moving person, but also an impulsive person it could be whoever this person is. But that's a painful ending, y'all. Um, somebody also could be doing some kind of work on your finances here. So definitely stay prayed up, stay mindful, do some protection spells over yourself. Because the tennis wars definitely talks about a hex or a curse. And then this is your finances here. So there's somebody here um, that could have also been hexing or cursing this relationship. And, you know, you ended up being single as a result. But you got a lot of pentacles here. You can have heavy earth placements on your person, whoever this person is coming through, whether it's family, friend or lover. But I feel like the Nine of Pentacles here with the Ten of Swords, I just heard I'm better off without you. This is a person that I feel like you released because you knew you had to, even though it hurt. But look, they're coming back. Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a reconciliation taking place here. You two could, could end up married. This person could be watching you like a hawk. Some of you may have blocked this person, but they want to heal. They want to move forward with you. You got more spirit guides here. And then I was getting ready to, oh my God, I was about to say Archangel Michael's protection is over this relationship. And then look what we get, the temperance, Archangel Michael. Yes, so I'm seeing Sagittarius, Aquarius, Cancer, Libra, Gemini. So any of those could mean something to you, but we are going to go ahead and leave it there. Keep going. Peace, y'all. Sorry for the inconvenience of making y'all wait. I hope y'all enjoyed the longer reading. You got a longer reading. <laughs> Peace, y'all.